And here we go. I'm RP Thor. Welcome to the Dragon Ship. This is episode 23. Today, we're going to talk about why, why you won't succeed. So let's get into this. Before I get started, I want to talk about why you won't succeed. Well, let's make a list. Say you're a young man. You're very familiar with this list. You may not even be conscious that this list has been thrust upon you throughout your life in the West. However, the reason that you won't succeed is we live in a society and what we project in all forms of communication today is that everything is equal and equitable for which this is not objectively true. But you're told that it is true and you're bad if you disagree. You are told that masculinity is toxic and bad behavior is to be avoided. This is done to you on purpose. Now you were taught in school that when you play sports, there are no winners. No losers, only the fact that you participate is what counts. So we're all winners and we're all special and we can do anything. That's the ultimate lie that gives you the slave mind mentality. And the slave mind mentality is what will ensure that you will not succeed, but you will ensure that others will have success, but it won't be your own. But you'll be told that you're a very good boy with a mind of a slave and that you will be pat on the head and you'll be told that you do a good job at work and that you pay your taxes like a good slave. You will get the reward of finally finding that very special one. That one is set aside for you. All society will tell you that. You have normal male desires for a female. And you'll be told that many things about this is true, especially that there is that one special one that's been set aside by the universe and by the state and by that all that is holy. She is chosen just for you, a soulmate, if you will, but you can only have just one. We've talked about it on this channel before. They will tell you that you must do certain things to elevate that one woman so that you can find the one and you will have a happy life. Notice it didn't say successful life, but a happy life. When you find out this is not true, many of you will give up and ultimately even some of you will give up on what is most important. That's why you won't succeed. You will also not succeed because you were told that the dad bod is the sexiest thing to ever have and grace the eyes of all real womanhood. Do you think that's really true? <laughs> Just watch any episode of Fresh and Fit After Dark and see what the women really want. And what women are told is beautiful and sexy for them is any size, any size. And they are tens. Society and popular culture ignores the science behind how women actually do select mates. And make no mistake, women do the selecting when it comes to mating. So it comes to basic, or comes down to basic survival, men and women that are watching this channel. And this is what you must conquer: this aspect of your life in order to succeed. Some of you will have these drives, and some of you will be able to delay this quest. And if you do, and you gain the proper knowledge of success of this, success can be attained from just about anyone at any time in your life. So you'll also not succeed because of addiction and sedation. This is a warning to you. You're taught in society to take actions as a man, not to take actions as a man, because you'll perceive as being too toxic. If you take action as a man, you cannot avoid this in today's society and you'll be shamed. Another reason you won't succeed is because the easiest solution is to immediately receive a dopamine hit and that will sedate you. Sedations are dangerous. The advance of gaming, gambling, videos, on-demand porn, online social networks, all of these and many more provide an intense and immediate small hit of dopamine to your brainstem. And it is briefly ever so satisfying. However, this does not provide any path to success. Unless of course, you are the supplier of the dopamine hits. So if you feel like you have the weight of the world upon your shoulders, much like Atlas, with little or no success and pride left in you, what do you wish for? The world to be much lighter and for it, find a way to make it much lighter for you. Some have called it the matrix and to take it, they also call it the blue pill, the red pill. And most of you will fight vehemently to keep yourself sedated and to keep that blue pill down. The alternative is so harsh and sharp and you must take action. This is never easy, yet in action there is much solace and pride for which you are always shamed. 
yet it is the source which is self-fulfilling and more action you take over time is much more satisfying and filling and leave you with a tremendous amount of resources at your disposal nothing else can achieve this but your action it is the delayed satisfaction that lasts for decades and gives you everlasting goals to strive for this is the true burden of performance that every man must carry in order to succeed this is why you won't succeed if you don't do this do you remember what atlas actually said when he was asked by the women around him if he wanted the world to be lighter so he could endure his burden more easily remember what he said do they even teach this anymore atlas replied with not at all i do not wish the world to be lighter i wish for larger and stronger shoulders so i can carry an even heavier and bigger world stop for a moment and think about that wisdom and the difference in mindset the slave always wishes for a lighter burden while the free man always takes the actions for the strength to carry an even heavier burden this is the true secret to carrying a lighter burden the stronger you are the lighter the burden feels yet today because of the veracity of society against stoicism and the ancient wisdom that is kept from you it is oftentimes even if you do you forget this as soon as it gets hard and heavy because of the sedatives that are available to you to relieve the weight of your life. So today on the Dragon Ship, we're gonna raise the tide and lift all boats. We're gonna give you the secret to where to start so you can succeed, not why you won't succeed. And it is fitness. Yes, you heard that right, physical fitness. You must start exercise, not recreational exercise, but exercise that is meant to be. Exercise can become recreation, but you need to keep the right mindset about exercise. It is a must for a functioning body and a functioning mind. Exercise is the discipline to physically work the muscles or groups of muscles with the intent to improve over time the functionality of said muscle groups for and your body, thereby improving health and longevity. It is Men's Fitness November. We're going to cover this over the next three to five episodes in detail physical fitness, mental fitness, habits, routines. We're even going to cover if you are fit for violence. So the next few episodes are going to be really exciting. So even if you are so unfortunate and you say, Thor, I could never work out. I'll tell you this. Even if you are so unfortunate to be a quadriplegic, for which I have witnessed, that cannot move, but they can only move a finger and they can exercise. That provides discipline and a path to success because it creates the mentality that fights the slave mind. That's what we're broadcasting today. In today's panel, we have experts that have spent decades from aesthetic bodybuilding to even combat sports and understand the importance of physical fitness, discipline upon the mind and the body. This is where you start and this is where success is born. Some form of physical discipline and mental discipline is required. When you take actions for that, it's amazing. It is the key to everything. And so that's why we start with it. The men on this panel have done extraordinary things and have all come from very humble backgrounds today. We're gonna to have a very exciting show. Each one's gonna explain where they started, the physical exercise, how it changed their life, how it grew into success. And even some use their physical, physical success and exercise recreationally and now have turned it into businesses. And that's amazing. Thank you.